I want to be clear about my emotions right now because I told you yesterday sitting in this chair, I thought the Cleveland Cavaliers in that building would win last night by three points. Mm -hmm. And I was rooting for LeBron and company because I was rooting for the NBA. Mm -hmm. I wanted this to become a legitimate series. I'm sick and tired of starting on our show with Rob Parker and going bigger picture with Charles Barkley saying these playoffs are a disaster for the NBA. They're non-competitive. That was a game last night. Was that was an all-time great game until a minute and a half was right. left in that right. game. And what happened in the last minute and a half just tore me apart. And I still haven't quite recovered from it. So forgive me. I'm about to unleash my emotions. <laughs> Obviously, the Warriors were really good last night. I'm not going all-time great just no, yet. No, 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 but no, no. I, I, in fact, I should just go ahead and be the first to congratulate them on winning the 2017 finals and Kevin Durant for being the MVP of whoa, the finals because I think that just happened. No, no, no. You got it's the first of four, not the mm, first of three. Okay, I got it. Okay. But, but you know and I know what just happened. I don't know nothing when I got okay. the king on my All right. side. <laughs> All I know for sure about last night is that with a minute and a half left in game three in that building, the Cleveland Cavaliers were up four points, and the king of that building had the ball in his hands. Am I yes, right? Yes, you're correct. Up four, king, king's house, king's throne, defending champs, make it or break it, do or die, sink or swim, season on the line, mm -hmm. playoffs on the line. The, the whole NBA playoffs mm -hmm. are teetering on this moment. Am I right? Yep. And what happened? If he's a Mount Rushmore player, he has to close that deal. So I am sorry, just because he is the king, I'm going to dump most of the blame at the king's feet, 90% of the blame at the king's feet. But Kyrie's the closer, though. I'm, I'm going to get to that. The king went from Mount Rushmore to the basketball equivalent of Death Valley, and he did everything that I have criticized him for or exhorted him not to do for about 14 years on national TV. He had three chances to ice that deal last night, to close it at the rim or at the free throw line. And once again, he drifted and he disappeared in clutch situations. And I've, I've repeatedly said, I just don't think he has the clutch gene. As great as he is, and he made so many great plays last night, as, as did Kyrie Irving, mm -hmm. until 129 was left. And just so I don't look like I'm second-guessing this, I want to read a tweet that I tweeted with four minutes to go in the game that set up everything that was about to happen. I tweeted, four minutes to go. This game is now on a silver platter for LeBron James to, and I put it in all caps, attack, 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 and win this game at the rim or the free throw line. Greatest driver ever. How many times have I told you he is the greatest attacker of the basket we have ever seen? I'll give you MJ. I'll give you Kobe. Nobody can attack and freight train to the basket the way LeBron James can. But when it's time, he doesn't because deep down, he still fears that free throw line late in games because it's not his forte. It's not his strength. He's not a great late game free throw shooter because he's not really a very good in game free throw shooter. So what starts happening, Mr. Sharp? 129 left. He drives Iguodala into the paint. Iggy can't keep him from the rim. He's just not big and strong enough. LeBron is 6'9", you say 255, I say 270. <laughs> can't keep him from the rim. And what does he do on Iguodala? He decides, oh, I don't want to go too close. And he backs away from the basket and ends up shooting a fallaway jumper from about 13 feet. It's, I don't know if he's trying to go MJ, because MJ at the end of his career perfected that shot. Mm -hmm. LeBron has not perfected that shot. He called it after the game a good shot. I think it's a terrible shot under the circumstance with Iguodala on you. And we've given Kevin Durant a lot of credit for protecting the rim. He really wasn't protecting the rim that great last night. No. I thought the bank was open for Kyrie, as we saw again and again. And I thought the freeway or the highway to the basket was open for LeBron James. So then what happens? 52 seconds left. LeBron again has the ball. Now they're, they're still up two points. Mm -hmm. And he has Draymond Green in a switch on him. Draymond has five fouls. One more, and you're gone. 
and LeBron has a clear, open, right-handed highway to the basket that he turns down. Then he goes left-handed into the lane, and what does he do? At the last second, he decides, eh, I shouldn't do this. Draymond Green, this is the guy who called you the B word in the finals last year. This is your nemesis. Just attack him. Just get to the free throw line. Give me two more points and maybe we're going to close this deal because I'm rooting for you, King. And what does he do? He kicks it to the far corner to Kyle Korver. I don't want to see Kyle Korver take that shot. I've heard people say it was a good, clean, open look. It wasn't really. It was a quick catch and shoot going sideways. I don't love the shot. And, and again, this is the king's house. I want LeBron at the rim or the free throw line. I'm sorry. But here's the thing, though, Skip. If you think about it, let me try to be in inside LeBron's mind. He's up to. He's saying, if I drive this ball, I know they're going to collapse. Ke they got the play they wanted. All Kevin Durant had to do. Uh, Kevin, Durant, Kevin Love has to do, have to do is say they better pick on Steph Curry. That's why they got Kyle Korver. They didn't get him to play defense. They didn't get him to play shoot twos. But do you they want him shooting that shot with 52 seconds yes! left? Is that why they got yes! him? Yes. Uh, that's not what I want from yes. him. Because I don't trust him. He was an Atlanta Hawk. You know, that's who he is. He's he, an Atlanta Hawk. He was a 76ers. He was a, I, a Jazz. I he was a lot it. of things. But, but he's a lot of things, but, but, but he's he not shoot? that guy in that moment. Can I'm he, sorry. Can he shoot the three? Yes or no? Sure he can shoot so the you three. Only, so you only but want to. But can he shoot clutch threes that, that turn around NBA finals? No. So basically you just want him to shoot the ball when the game is not on the line. The, the, it's the king at the rim. That's what I want. I want LeBron at the free throw he, line. Le, He's better than this. LeBron was saying if we go up five, it's a two-possession ball game. Yeah. Now they're going to have to play the foul game because if he hits that shot, Kevin Durant walks into his three with about 45 seconds yeah. to go. Okay. So he said, if I hit this shot with 45 seconds, we're still going to be up two points if they hit a three. Skip, give the Warriors some credit. I do. And so let's get to that three. I'm not going to condemn LeBron for this, but this is just me because I have so much respect for him as a defensive player, even after 14 years in this league. He has the highest basketball IQ on the planet, and we all agreed going into the finals he's the best player on the planet. And he allows Kevin Durant to jog into what I considered an uncontested three-point shot. And to Kevin's undying credit, what did I say yesterday about him? The difference in Kevin in Oklahoma City and Kevin in Golden State is in the fourth quarter, he knows he's trusted by his teammates. He knows he can shoot it with conviction. Did he not shoot that shot like he meant it? Walked into and it. as soon as he let it go, I said, that's good. And this is just me. LeBron James is smart enough to know I got to get up into yes, him. Yes, I just have to say yes, no. Yes, you can't yes. have a shot. Nope. I'm going to make you give up the basketball because the game is on the line. To your point, you, you, let him go to the basket if he wants to.